Hi friends, welcome to Vocabulary and Pronunciation Part 4. In our previous class, we learned about anagrams. And I hope all of you have done the task which was given to you, finding anagrams with the words which were given. So let us just check the answer to those questions. Listen, silent, lamp, palm, resist, sister, dear, read, triangle, in the group, knee, key, heart, of, see, say, show, horse, chin, inch, these, sheet, north, thaw, stew, west, part, trap, ten, net, add, dad, verse, sir, canoe, ocean, eastern, nearest, sing, sign. So you need to try find more of them so that you can improve your vocabulary. Try to find at least 20-25 of them. If you try, it is possible. So friends, today we are going to study about stress in English. We have learned pronunciation is an important part of having good communication skills. So we must also know what to stress in a particular word. And before knowing about stress, we must also know about what is a syllable. A syllable is any of the units into which a word is divided containing a vowel sound and one or more consonants. In English, usually we have syllable stress for words. So dear friends, first of all we should understand what is a syllable. And in English, there are words which are monosyllabic, there are words which are polysyllabic, depending upon the number of vowel sounds inside a word. And we know English is a language with stress. And we are stressing the words which are there in a sentence. And syllables, as I already told, can be monosyllabic having only one syllable. Examples are come, ten, etc. Or it can be polysyllabic means having two or more syllables as in dollar, natural, university, etc. And usually monosyllabic words are not stressed or they may not have a stress. But polysyllabic words have a stress on any one syllable. For example, let us look at the following words. Fast. Can you say how many syllables are there in the word fast? Person. Beautiful. Information. Yes, in the first word, fast, we have got only one syllable, fa. And in the word person, we have two syllables, per and sir. Person. 
And in beautiful, we have three syllables. Beautiful. And in information, we have four syllables. Information. So, we can see that the words in English are divided into different parts called syllables. Can you find how many syllables are there in the following words? Breakfast, banana, tomorrow. So do you think it's difficult to find the syllables or how many syllables are there in the words? Yes, but there is an easy way. Before you say a word, hold your palm under the chin like this. And then now say the word. Breakfast, banana, tomorrow. So when you say the word, how many times your chin is pressed against your palm? that many syllables will be there in the world. So you need to just try yourself and say, just check, breakfast, how many times the chin is touching against the palm? Two times. So the word breakfast has two syllables. Again, banana. See how many times your chin is pressing against your palm? Three times. So we can say that the word banana has three syllables. Again, tomorrow. See how many times your chin is pressed against your palm? Three times. So we can see that it is easy to find how many syllables are there in a word by holding your palm under your chin and then say the word. Let us also take the examples parent, student. So we will be knowing or it is easy to identify how many syllables are there in these words when we hold our chin and the palm under the chin. So the next thing is where should we give stress in a particular word and we have seen in English polysyllabic words that is words having more than one syllable will usually have stress on either syllables or any of the syllables which are there and to identify on to which word the stress is there again it's a difficult task. There are certain rules by which you can identify where to give the stress. So, please look at the following words. Picture. Minute. Water. Happy. Yellow. See, out of these five words, the first three are nouns. Picture, minute, water, and happy and yellow are adjectives. And in a two syllable word, if it is a noun or an adjective, the stress will be on the first syllable. So, can you repeat the words after me? Picture, minute, water. Happy, yellow, and we need not give that much stress, but when we practice, it is always good that you give stress and then practice the words. So please see, the stress in these words are on the first syllable, and there are two syllables in picture, picture, two syllables in minute, minute, water, water. Happy, happy, and yellow, yellow. So on these words, 
the stress is on the first syllable remember there are exceptions for example look at the word minute it is a noun but when it becomes an adjective the word is read differently as well as the stress is on the second syllable when it is an adjective the word is read as minute and the stress is on new minute not on the first syllable so please remember there are exceptions in all these so we have seen in nouns and adjectives having two syllables the stress will be usually on the first syllable but there are exceptions and again look at the following words forget explain repeat can you once again find how many syllables are there in these words forget explain repeat so again we can see that there are two syllables each for these words and these are verbs so a verb which is having two syllables usually the stress will be on the second syllable that is why the words are read forget explain and repeat so remember words which are having two syllables if it is a noun or an adjective the stress in the word will be usually in the first syllable and words that are having two syllables and if it is a verb usually the stress will be on the second syllable so try to understand the syllable stress and again learn the international phonetic alphabet that we have learned so that you can improve your pronunciation very well repeat these words with the correct stress and also understand when you refer to a dictionary how do you find where the stress is given in a particular word usually in a dictionary the stress is marked with a back code on the phonetic symbols in front of the phonetic symbol where the stress is being placed so please look through a dictionary understand where the stress is given and try to read the words correctly thank you see you in the next class take care good bye